And uh, some free radicals can actually defend against the toxic free radicals uh, the, uh, when the thyroid and oxygen are working properly. Uh, the electron transport chain involves lots of free radical activity, but it is all productive and protective. The, f the faster you run oxygen through the mitochondria and under the influence of thyroid, the less free radical damage you have to the uh, structure of the cell and the mitochondrion. Okay. All right, so, well... If, if you are low thyroid or uh, uh, somehow lack oxygen acutely, uh, the electrons, instead of being uh, safely uh, passed through this chain of free radicals, the free radicals uh, wander off and attack the fats that make up the mitochondrion, and then those fats become uh, uh, peroxides, which... Uh, are a, sort of a randomly destructive kind of free radical. So these are these would be the polyunsaturated fats that you're mm -hmm. you're talking about, which for, just for our listeners to clarify, includes the common vegetable oils available, like corn oil, sunflower seed oil, safflower seed oil, canola. Also includes fish oil, hemp seed oil, flax seed oil, cotton seed oils, and a lot of pre-processed packaged. Foods. Yeah, and all of those uh, tend to accumulate in the tissues, and when they're given acutely uh, as an emulsion, for example, they used to do it in hospitals to fatten people up. Uh, now they do it to uh, suppress their immune systems if they're transplanting a kidney. But uh, they not only suppress immunity, they create sort of an instantaneous diabetes or inability to respire and use sugar. Mm -hmm. okay. So it's like if we eat food that's fried in these these oils, then we're essentially ingesting a free radical. Uh, well, very quickly, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and well, an experiment I did illustrates how even at room temperature, they uh, spontaneously oxidize. I put a, a rubber hose in a bottle of, uh, I think it was safflower oil, and uh, put the other end in a glass of water. And just at room temperature, the uh, over a few hours, the uh, bottle was, in effect, respiring. It was sucking oxygen up and drawing water up into the tube. Uh, the oxygen was combining with the... Uh, uh, unsaturated fats and in the process forming lipid peroxides, which are, are toxic uh, free radicals. And the situation is even worse in our body when it's at 98 and above degrees. Yeah, yeah much, much faster at that temperature. And we have uh, uh, catalytic amounts of iron and, right. and heavy metals floating around to accelerate the reaction.